And I was working very close to New York City and a lot of Americans who were feeling anxious, angry, natural feelings after a tragedy like that, uh, they projected their insecurities and vulnerabilities onto me. 9-11 so was a very difficult period for somebody who looked like me. Within hours, I had people who were giving me nasty looks, called me names, told me to go back home. So I penned an op-ed piece basically telling the story, saying, you know what, we need a superhero who's going to be fighting hate and bias, and that superhero is going to be either Asian or Jewish or Hispanic or Sikh. What came to my rescue was an editorial cartoon by a cartoonist named Mark Fury, and he captured my predicament in a cartoon that looked like me. Eventually I told myself, you know, Mark's probably not going to do another cartoon with somebody who looks like me. Maybe I should. So I taught myself how to draw, and, and I've been creating cartoons since. Uh, so Wham Bam Pow, Cartoons Turban and Confronting Hate is an exhibit that partly tells my story, partly shatter people's stereotypes about somebody who has a turban and a beard. Can you tell that they're a good or a bad human being just by looking at somebody? Uh -uh. No, right? You gotta get to know them. You gotta get to know how they act, what they do, right? Because you know that this is who superheroes are. Superheroes are not somebody who just have big muscles and wear a uniform. Superheroes do good things. When I wear my uniform, do I become a superhero? No, you don't become a superhero by wearing a uniform. You have to do things. So let me quickly share with you my Captain America story. So come on by here this way. So when I first donned the uniform, it was at home. I was really nervous and scared. I mean, I had sweaty palms. I, because I didn't know how people were going to respond. I thought maybe they, some of them would be offended. They would say things to me. It was a strange day. It was like I had gone into a parallel universe and suddenly people were perceiving me as one of their own. That does not usually happen in civilian clubs. And what memories do you have of Captain America from your childhood? Just from having the comic books as a child. Did you used to read them yourself? Oh, definitely, definitely. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Yeah, this I is, like that. So this is from Marvel, actually. They really So donning this, fictional superheroes uniform somehow changed people's real life reactions to who I was. How are you? Not as good as you, man. Not as good as me? Thanks. Thanks. Damn. Seattle folks are pretty cool and chill, so. Yeah, ideally, yeah. So they're like, they're like Captain America and Turban and Beard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like, awesome. Yeah. That's American too, man. Yeah. Like, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm alright, I'm walking around enjoying Seattle. Keeping America safe. Keeping America safe, yes. It's important these days. It is, I know. It's funny, this morning I was like, you know, I'm gonna have an extraordinary day today. And I think, you're, I think this is it. This is I it? think this is, oh, this is awesome, what made it. Awesome, awesome. I love it. Awesome. I think what I, what I relish the most is the interaction. You come on this side so I don't cover you with my shield. I think that's the part that to me is amazing. Um, knowing that people just connect to it to the level that they're going to pen me a letter saying, hey, this is wonderful, this is, a, this is my vision of Captain America.